the power of legacy is what we're going to talk about tonight. So a lot like of people, uh, this, is a, this is a topic that I think it changes as you get older. And uh, we talk to a lot of older people, especially like, you talk to your parents and stuff like that. They're always thinking about like, what, what, did, what did you contribute to the world? Did you leave it better than when you started? Um, you always have those deep conversations with yourself and internally. And I think a lot of younger people need to have that conversation early. I think me and Anthony were definitely forward thinkers. So I, I want to open your mind to be forward thinking about what your, what your legacy means to you and what change you can bring to the world. Yep. Man, I have a, a different perspective on legacy, I think, from, than most people. I felt like no matter how famous or how rich you get or whatever, like sooner or later you're going to be gone, right? Yeah, absolutely. So imagine like a, an actor, you know, in the 50s or the 60s, right? In their day, they were the most popular, coolest guy that ever lived, right? What, we don't know what they invested in. We don't know real estate. We don't know if they built a museum in their name. Like we have no clue. What's left is the Hollywood star that just, you walk over every day. Just within two generations, right? Yeah, They're like a, a memory gone. Yeah. So I don't think of legacy like, hey, I want people to remember my name or I don't. people are going to say my name. No, they're not. I don't really believe in it that way. What I think that you can do as far as like legacy is concerned is that you have to put in place institutions that are going to stand the test of time. Okay. Right. So uh, the, the, the more that we start to go after these big deals and we, you know, we're, we're doing these amazing things and making some pretty cool numbers, we're starting to think about who else can we help with this capital, right? Because we're, we're, we're trying to hire all of our friends and family. In business, never hire friends and family. Our goal, our personal goal is to hire everybody we know, friends and family alike. And from there, we want to start to see who else can we help underneath that umbrella. So we're thinking about some different charitable organizations, like public housing for somebody who doesn't have anywhere to go. Maybe they're going to have an abortion. They don't have any other choices. So we want them to be able to find the temporary housing where they can like be there without getting, you know, having to make a, a desperate decision, live with somebody who's abusing them, something crazy like that, right? So we have a couple of different charities in mind that we want to start up. So I think if we put in place institutions like that, that are self-sustaining, that are profitable, that can keep themselves alive without having to have like a constant injection of capital over time and distance, then I think that's how you create a legacy is you put things in place that were never put in before. The government's not going to do it. Entrepreneurs are not going to do it because it just, you know, loses money or it's not interesting to them. Yeah. So I think, and when I'm thinking in terms of legacies, I want to put something in place that's going to stand the test of time, even if they never remember my name. Yeah. One thing I, I like I like about this is you kind of, us as developers in a way, like one thing you hit me hard that I, didn't even, I never even thought about was like, we need to come up with street names for our property. <laughs> and Our first residential subdivision. Our first residential subdivision, he hit me and was like, hey, what, what, we got to think of the street names for the name. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. So, because we, we did a... Uh, Tyler, we did a uh, we did a subdivision name, but we didn't actually do the name of the street. It's we named it Hive Mind Way. Hive Mind Way. So that was the first little peek into this, but it's not really like registered or anything. You can't search Hive Mind Way and it comes up. It's just there. It's kind of like a way to find that subdivision that we created in Tyler. But this is a whole different story because now we get a, we can make a subdivision name. You can put a nice little front gate with a name on it. Design that. You get street names. You get opportunity for that to really kind of put your stamp of something that's going to be there forever essentially at that so, point so think about that right we have to name the names of the streets and we're like what if we just put our kids names on the streets you know so even long after we're gone somebody's going to be using google maps and they're going to go to you know this street and you know so that i think that's cool i think that's a cool little way to like game the system yeah. to start putting your your, your seeds everywhere naming things maybe the name a national park after us that we bought and donated to the federal government or maybe a museum stuff like that like i talked about donating a lake on a property the texas like parks and wildlife or whatever and everybody on face blasting me like don't give it to the government like dude if that community or that area can everybody can that's a private piece of land right now yeah so if we donate that lake to the public and people can take their kids there to go fishing and ride yeah. jet skis like we're not creating memories and now yeah so that family would have never been able, to, been able to have that experience without that donation from us but if you're not playing in a space where you're not you know you're not making moves like that you're not dealing in that size of assets where you have lakes on the property and you don't have that, those kinds of returns when you're trying to like maximize every penny right and then nobody benefits but you yeah. Right. So, so I think having legacy, I think it's making moves like that that are so big that everybody gets to benefit. Because why should we be the only ones winning? Like, so again, like I think it's really, really easy to get yourself super rich. Everybody can over your own cup can be overflowing very easily. But if you can have that experience, make that experience for other people, that's what kind of really gets me high, man. I really do enjoy it. Like we go to a, a restaurant or something, and we're not ballers, right? But we'll drop like a twenty or fifty dollar tip, like on a freaking IHOP waitress, and they're like, oh god, they they started crying before. Right, and to you, like, oh, 50 bucks, nothing, 50 bucks. Well, yeah, but for somebody, that's their whole entire world. Yeah, right? we, we talked about we talked a little about this in uh, creating happiness. If you haven't seen the video, please go check it out. Manufacturing happiness, manufacturing <laughs> happiness. <laughs> I forgot the name. Go to YouTube, 
Google, put in the search bar, manufacturing happiness. We did a talk about that. It's 11 minutes long. It's one of my favorite videos, but a lot of this is like, you don't know what people are going through and you can create that legacy at that moment that could totally tra change the trajectory of people's lives. Yeah. That yeah. you, don't, you, not, you might not even see the results of that. That's something we practice all the time. Like I said, it could be as simple as like as your waiter, waitress, just hitting them with a cool little tip that they might not be used to. We've had them like almost tear up multiple times, holding the door open for somebody like, oh, thank you. You know, somebody at the register, like just give them a compliment. You see that they're down. You see some kind of shadow above them, some kind of cloud. I mean, they're not saying anything. They're not yeah. showing it. But you just say, man, that's an amazing shirt, dude. That's where'd you get that, dude? I wish you know. I think I have one like that. So cool. Anything, your hat, bro. Like, oh, cool haircut. And then you see their face light up. Like, dang. Like they've never had a compliment before from a stranger, right? There's the use of people just beating them up. Hurry up. Where's my change? You know, stuff like that. So if you're going around and just pushing buttons on people and you know putting them in a, like an amazing mood, you know, I think that's something else too. You know, if anything, that's what I want to be remembered for, right? It's as cheesy as it sounds. I want people, and they're saying it now, right? All oh, those guys are cool. Those guys are real cool. But like, if they can remember us, like those guys ran a very generous, tremendous business, but they were also very giving, very humble, very cool, very open, right? As opposed to like, hey, we're gonna get super rich. Watch this, and then nobody else benefits. <laughs> so, and like I said, this is actionable items for everybody. So, like us, we we kind of, we're doing all these, you know, all, all these examples we're doing. So I think, and it's attainable for anybody to reach, and you can start wherever you're at in life, and really just create your own legacy in your own way. And I think it's something to think about as you, especially no matter what age you are, you can create your own legacy, and you can start doing it at in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s. It's never too late to create your own legacy and really leave your footprint on the world in your own little special way that maybe you may only, you may be the only one that knows it, but you know you left you left the world you left the world a better place before you leave this world. That's pretty cool, man. I just thought of something right now, and I guess it's something that I've already said, but I kind of just piece it together listening to you. It's like if, you're, if your target is to be remembered, right, as the self, as the vessel, I want people to remember my name, that's a very, very low target, and it's also an impossible target. Yeah. Because you're aiming so low, mm -hmm. right? You want, you want your name to be somewhere in the history book so people could bring it up. Really? Who gives a shit? Why? You're going to be dead, right? You're not going to know that anyway. But if you can leave your footprint, right, and the environment and the universe... Yep. And everybody gets to experience and we don't know why this is here. We don't know why this is happening like this. We don't know why we get this lake that was donated to Texas Parks and Wildlife. But I'm here on the pier fishing with my son right now. And it's the best thing that I've ever done before. Right? And so they're not going to remember my name, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Those, those, so the, it's like the bigger moves you try to make, the easier it is and the more impact you can have for more people. But it's very selfless. Like I'm not doing it so anybody can remember me. I don't care if they remember me. And it's easier to hit, then it's easier to hit a bigger target, whether your targets are profits, you know, size of acquisition of the land or whatever, the apartments we're gonna buy, the housing developments we're gonna make inside of these office buildings. Yeah. Those are big giant targets if you're thinking in terms of how, how can I make profit on this deal yeah. for myself or for my company. But if you're thinking in terms of, I wanna help a thousand mothers not have an abortion, like I need 20 buildings, like that's a big target, but I think we can hit it. Yeah, have bigger vision and start thinking about it early. You don't, you don't have to have it now, but just think about it in the back of your mind and something will come to you. Everybody gets inspired by others and just be open-minded because a lot, a lot of things that inspire us are just everyday things that we're paying attention to. Anthony has a really great grift of seeing people in different situations. And we'll, if you haven't seen, we're gonna talk about little other videos we're gonna record today too as well, kind of covering this, but if you pay attention to your surroundings, you have the opportunity to impact people's lives daily. I wanna sign off with this, man. If you have big goals, big, big lofty goals, the same way with the land deal, the bigger the land deal, the easier it is. If you have big giant goals and you have a big giant target and you want to win for a large amount of people, then it's going to be easier for you to become successful because you have, you need to make a lot more profit. You need to do a lot, make a lot bigger moves to satisfy the goal. But if it's only for yourself and your own company, it's impossible. It's almost impossible. You're always going to want to hit that next stage that I want a million dollars. I want $10 million. I want $50 million. You're always... Somebody always has a bigger yacht, you know? So, so <laughs> bigger dreams, bigger goals are easier to hit. So set your target so high that no matter, even if you land short, it's still going to be a big deal. There you go. Thanks, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.